Why have hundreds of San Francisco's most famous residents left our fair city? Will they return? During the last week of December, tourists and locals alike started noticing the absence of California sea lions from Pier 39, their home for the past 20 years. Their population often decreases in winter months, but for their numbers to drop so precipitously has everyone puzzled, including local scientists. The California sea lion distribution is from Vancouver, British Columbia, south off of Baja, Mexico. And during the different seasons, they'll change their location. So they are migratory, not in the sense that birds are migratory, but they do move to follow the food supply. Perhaps this winter is a continuation of the lack of food supply that we saw in the summertime. And uh, if there are no small fishes, no herring, sardines, or anchovies, then the sea lions are going to move to where the fish are because they're very flexible in their foraging strategies. So wherever the fish are, that's probably where the sea lions are. Some believe that the sea lions have followed the fish north to the Oregon coast. So a sure way to know where our Pier 39 sea lions have ended up would be to find a tagged individual. So a researcher will put a plastic tag on the flippers, either the fore flippers or the hind flippers, of animals that might have been in rehab centers. So if people read the tags and see them, like say in Monterey at Moss Landing or off the coast of Oregon, and they can read the tag number and submit it to the Marine Mammal Center, then we can know definitively where the animals from Pier 39 have gone. And will the sea lions return to Pier 39? Well, I bet in the spring and summer they'll be back in full force. I don't think there's any reason to be concerned. It's a natural cycle. 